Yeah, you're probably wondering why I'm about to put this Harbor Freight uh, workbench together in the bedroom. I ordered a 3D printer. I'm getting that later today. So that's what I'm going to put on the on this workbench. And with the 20% off coupon, this sells for uh, $79. Yeah, there sure is a lot of parts here. Yeah, and here is the actual part number to buy one of these. Yeah, I've started putting this together. There's quite a bit putting this thing together. Yeah, and here's what it looks like when it's all together. Now I'm going to move it out where it's on flat ground and I'm going to tighten all the screws down. It's not all tight yet. And these drawers are perfect where you can put a uh, four ro rolls of that filament will fit in each drawer. But I think I'm going to reinforce these. There's nothing in the middle. And it also has a light up here. Yeah, I got this workbench completely together. But I think I'm going to put a screw in here because it's a little weak right here. Maybe one on the front and the back. And these screws here look like I have them the wrong way around. But if you put them the other way, it'll pull them through the hole. It's supposed to go this way. And these drawers are a little weak too. I, th I think I'm going to put something across the bottom. Because I'm going to put a, a bunch of those rolls of that line in there. Uh, filament, they call it in there. Yeah, here's the actual uh, 3D printer. Yeah, I took and put three uh, screws across the front here. Now it's real strong and, and two across the back. Yeah, if I just put one in there, it might break the wood after a long time. So now what I'm going to do is reinforce these two drawers. Yeah, and here's the 3D printer. And this one is the assembled one. It sells for eight, $899. They also make one that's you have to put together that takes five hours to put it together, and it's six ninety nine. But I figure I could make two hundred dollars in half that time, so it's better for me just to buy the one that's together. And they also just came out with a kit for this that makes it print four colors. I'm going to order that too. Yeah, and here's what it actually looks like. And it comes with one free roll of this stuff that looks like weed eater line. And it came with some uh, candy from the Czech Republic. Yeah, and I actually put a hole in the wall and it goes through where the uh, cable comes through for the internet on the other side. So it's hooked to the computer. This is just an extension, a USB extension. So now I still gotta go fix those two drawers and make them stronger. Yeah, I just don't have enough room in the other room where the computer's at. That's why I'm putting it in this room. Yeah, and here's what I did with the drawers. I just welded a piece across the bottom to make this a lot stronger. Yeah, about all I figured out how to do yet is a bottle opener. And I think this is supposed to take about 30 minutes. Yeah, now it's actually looking like something here. I think this means that it's 18% done. Yeah, it says it's going to take like an hour to do that. Some of the things take like 24 hours to do. Yeah, so this is how this bottle opener came out. And I think you're supposed to stick a penny in there in that slot. So now I'm printing some gears just for the hell of it. But this is going to take like five hours. Yeah, and this took like five hours to make, but this came out of this just like this. You don't have to put the pieces together or nothing. Yeah, so now I'm going to take this uh, 3D printer and do the multi-color uh, upgrade to it. And the kits, some of it's still in this box, but and how this kit is, each one of these bags tells what it does. And these are all parts of the same thing. It holds this uh, plastic line. I'm going to do this step first because it's the easiest. 
but you got to go online and look this up and it tells the manuals online on how to do this. I'm not going to show everything because it, this video would be hours long if I did that. Yeah, here's what one of the pieces looks like that holds these four spools. You got to put two of these together then they go together. Yeah, and here's what this looks like all together and the spools just sit on top of here and roll. Yeah, there's a lot of steps to just to put that together. And there's still quite a few parts to do the whole thing. And I just got this piece reworked. There's, it takes quite a bit of time to do this. And these are all the parts you remove that don't get used again. Yeah, so now I got all these pieces on here. And they all hook to that. Yeah, then you put this little uh, control box on there. There's a tiny little circuit board that goes in there. And I'm just hooking this stuff up right now. Yeah, so I got it all done. And you always want to take and spray Windex on this uh, uh, bed and clean it off real good because if there's any oil on your, from your hands on it, it, the stuff won't stick. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to try it out for the first time. It took me a while to figure out how to use the program to change all the colors on something I'm going to make. Yeah, what I'm going to make is one of these, but everything's going to be in different colors. Yeah, and here's the part of the black on the planetary gears. And it also puts down this box so it can change colors each time. Then it's going to do, start doing a couple of the gears. Yeah, and here, green will be next for the last gear. Yeah, it takes a lot longer like this because it's got to keep changing colors. See, now, that, now it's changing colors again. Yeah, I ended up having to do this several times before I could get it to actually work. I had to put glue on the bed that they give you when you buy this thing. Yeah, it's been going for four and a half hours. It takes a lot longer when you print with these different colors. Yeah, it's only at a 68%. Yeah, I'm making one of these out of Christmas colors. Yeah, I can't get it to come out right when I make it out of all, all the different colors. It doesn't spin. And it takes a lot longer because it has to keep stopping and changing the colors when you do that. Yeah, I've tried to make these many times and can't get it. To, it doesn't actually turn. And here's one that I made for myself a while back out of one color, and it works. Now I see what the difference is. It's got one more gear in it. The one that came on the SD card one that's got six of the uh, small gears in it. The one I got off their website only has five. So what I gotta do is take that off the SD card and change the colors and put it back on. Yeah, here's something else I'm making on here. I increased the size to 130 percent. 